everyone I'm coming to you with another look again I'm calling this look Kitty because you see I'm in my little cat get up and you know, I'm feeling drag I'm feeling dramatic you know I just watched another episode of RuPaul and I gotta come to you all again with something you know sexy and dramatic and crazy um, so no, this is not everyone's cup of tea again. Um, not beauty makeup. If you're into that, skip across this video. But what I'm bringing to you all a bit of is a dramatic eye and lip combination. It's a cut crease. It's been a while since I've done something that's been cut crease. So um, yeah, carved out each bone. Giving you space. Anyway, as you could see, I'm still playing it full. Um, we're in the Anne Marie. I'm just loosen up again. The Anne Marie way it is too black for me to do, so it's too dark for me. We definitely need a lighter shade. But I love her. Um, I feathered her out with my curling iron. So she has a bit more volume now, and I like it with the volume, I like it with the feathers. So if you want to see how I did this dramatic look with a cut crease, stay tuned and you know how we do. <laughs> so see you in a bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is prime my eye. I'll be using this LA Glow Concealer Stick. Got these at Wonderful Woods. They make horrible concealers but pretty good primers because of their tackiness. And I will be putting it on the lid of my eye. With a color called Vulcan from Glowing Goddess, which really pigmented me, and my eyeshadow brush. I'm just going to take a bit of that Vulcan and I'm going to place it in the middle of the lid. This is a Tari Boutique palette. I've hit pan on it, but this color right here, which is a bronze, I'm going to go in with another eyeshadow brush. And I put my other eyebrow brush. There it is. I'm going to damp that brush a little. And we're going to take that bronze from this Tari Boutique palette and we're going to bring it to the outer corners of our eyes. So this is the effect we are going for on the eye, on the lid. Now I'm going to begin the process of cutting my crease. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take this black from my Arista palette and an angle brush. I'm really gonna go in. I'm gonna begin to draw that line on the crease. I'm bringing it to the outer part of my eye, like so. So it really doesn't have to be too neat at this stage because we're gonna do a little blending later. But you just want to bring it to the outer part of the crease, inner and outer. So before we finish our cut crease, we're going to take this gold, oh, this gold from the another Starry Boutique um, palette and we're going to put it on the brow. I'm gonna just go to add a little bronze to that gold from the other side, but take the same bronze we used before. So we get that effect. So 
we're gonna use we're gonna blend out that line a little bit into the brow and down a bit under the lid like so So what I did was I intensified the black a little bit by taking my angle brush and some of my graph tobian and I just brought it across here so we get the intensity of the um uh, of the line on the crease. Like that. Now what I'm going to do once again I am going to go back into my Sari Boutique palette with this bronze hair, get my brush and I am going to bring the bronze to the bottom lid to bring that bronze across the bottom I hate how this camera is washing all the colors I look my skin even looks pale seriously guys I'm not this pale I have a nice caramel kind of tan complexion going on anyway gotta work what we gotta work with so so we bring it to the bottom of the eye again I'm going to take my here my angle brush get it in the black graftobian foundation yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go across the eye. Bring it to the nose a bit. Like so. Take the same thing, same angle brush, and do the line now on the upper lid. So you see how it's looking, that's the kind of effect we're going for. I'm going to add some lashes and I'll be right back to show you the complete look. So, so to finish the look I use my Ruan lipstick in Purple Madness. I fold out my lips a bit to make it bigger. Sorry I couldn't record it guys but I don't know I'm getting so much problems with the lighting today. and where to position myself it's really annoying but um this is the finished look very dramatic very drag I guess I've been watching RuPaul's Drag Race these days so <laughs> going in a little drag mode um someone asked me a question I want to answer it now they asked me about my cheekbone um the question was do I photoshop my cheekbone we all know I'm talented in Photoshop and I'll discuss that in another video. I have no shame about that because I think if you have a talent, you should use it. But yes, I can carve my cheekbones. Um, so let me just show you. If you've seen this slide, this is what my cheekbones look like. Um, I naturally do not have high cheekbones and my face is pretty round. So I contour my cheekbones to make it look as if I have cheekbones. Um, so no I don't. I try my best or most I do not interfere with makeup in Photoshop. I just try to enhance the quality of the photo since I'm using a regular point and truth camera. I hope you all like my my look. 
my sexy kitty look. With the cut crease. Very dramatic. So I just wanted to do a simple cut crease for you guys to um, see because I haven't done a cut crease in a long while. I hope you like and goodbye. More videos. Soon.